Mm. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My lovely niece, Jaylee, is here with me tonight and going to entertain y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to read the comments. It's kind of like like a glare on the screen. How are y'all doing? Now, how in the world did you do that, smarty pants? She helped me out, y'all. She, I think I might have a delay. No, nobody's saying anything. Um, she brightened my screen for me. I didn't even know how to do that. <laughs> She's so smart. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Colleen. Finding happiness. My honey, I don't think he's in here anymore, but he was. Hi, Lila. How are you? Hello, Il Knirum. I think I said it right. <laughs> I always have trouble with your name. Central Illinois. Hey, Nana. There's my mama on here. How are y'all doing this evening? Yep, this is my special guest right here. My niece, Jaylee. I, I actually talked her into staying the night with me. <laughs> no, I don't have to talk her into it. She's She always wants to come and stay with Aunt Shannon when she gets a chance. Hi, Martha. How are you doing? Oh, there goes the deer feeder going off. I, uh, the last few evenings, I have been trying to catch the deer. They have been out here. We've had like, I don't know, like six to eight, maybe even 10 deer out here the last two evenings. And that's kind of why I set up back here because I was hoping they would be out here and I could show y'all. But no. They're visiting elsewhere tonight. Um, hey, Corey and Cynthia. Yes, this is my niece, Jaylee. Um, Il Kneerum, laugh out loud, close, it's Jason. Y'all, I'm sorry, our air conditioner come on, so I hope you can hear me still. That's what I was afraid of, <laughs> that it would come on. Hi, Jennifer, how are you doing? Um, Colleen, Evelyn, so what were y'all's y'all thoughts on the meetup? I, Roger and I just had a blast. Um, I hated to see it end. <laughs> you know, good times always got to end, but it just seemed like that those two days, two and a half days went by super, super fast faster than any weekend that I've had in a long time. But it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it. Uh, hi, Miss Virginia. How are you doing? But, um, yeah, I got a lot of merch from the meetup, but that's going to be in a video that I'm going to do. So I'm not going to show that on my live because I want to do a video on it because I got so much stuff. But I am wearing North and South Homestead. So y'all go check out Kim. She's pretty awesome. And I'm so glad I got to meet her. Um, I'm actually so glad that we got to meet so many people. Everyone was super nice, made us feel welcome just as soon as we got there, and we sure appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Colleen said, nice seeing you at the meetup, Corey and Cynthia. Yes, it was so nice to hang out with y'all. Y'all are super awesome. Um Corey and Cynthia, Cynthia, we are just going to get a permanent resi residency at Friar Hotel. We're ready. I know, right? That sounds good. That sounds good. Um, hey, Deb, two old people on the couch. How are you doing? Lila says it flew by way too soon. I had the time of my life. Yes, it really, really did. Um, 
It was so nice to meet you, Lila. We really enjoyed meeting you. Let's see here. Um, everyone saying hi. Hey, Gray Mountain Farm. It was so nice to meet y'all as well. Thank you for coming in. Um, I've got I've got one more meetup video uh, coming out tomorrow. I've had so much trouble editing since yesterday. I'm just ready to get it out. <laughs> it. I don't know, my computer must be full and it has been freezing up on me two or three times and I lost uh, my footage from my GoPro. It went, I don't know what happened. Somehow it got moved around in my computer and um, I lost my footage. Then I had to find it and then I worked like three or four hours on my video a second time and after I saved it, I went back in to open it up to start working on it again. And the footage was missing again. <laughs> so, but I think I got it figured out and hopefully I'll have it out tomorrow and nothing else will come up. Let's see here. Um, huh. Hey, Grumpy Grandpa. How are you doing? Um, let's see here. Corey and Cynthia said, what's up, Mark? Ilk Niram said, I lose some footage from the weekend also. Yes, I did lose part of um, our footage, but uh, what I lost is it's pretty close to us. So I'm thinking about going back and uh, refilming it because I think y'all would enjoy it. It was pretty neat. We really enjoyed it. So if I have time, I'm going to go back and get that footage again. Um, Uncle Roger says, hello, my sweet angel Skinner. <laughs> He's so crazy. Hey, Uncle Roger. Uh, Joyce Johnson, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. I was there for a little while and didn't see you to say hi. Yes, it was so hard to get around to everyone. Last year, I said, I'm going to make it around to everyone, which... I didn't, of course. And so I said, I'm going to do it the next year. Well, this year rolled around and I still didn't get around to everyone. Even at the hotel, I didn't get to hang out and talk to everyone as much as we would have liked to. Um, it needs to last for about a week, <laughs> but I'm not sure all of us could party for a week because <laughs> that's a long time. Um. Let's see here. Lila said, Corey and Cynthia Davis are super fans. They are. They are awesome people. They are so nice. So nice. Storyteller Donnie Wheeler, how are you doing? We are at the Blue Whale. No swimming. Catoosa, Oklahoma. All is well with the trip. Well, that's good. I'm glad y'all are having a good time. Spaceman Dudley, how are you doing? Um, yeah, y'all, I want to show y'all some cards, and also I want to, some channels that I met there that are starting out or are, you know, just barely starting out, just got a few subscribers. I would like to try and help them tonight to maybe gain a few more. Um, if whenever I say these channels, um, if one of the moderators don't mind to to put their link in there for me, I would sure appreciate it. But um, here is one. Let's see here. I wrote me a little note on how many subscribers they have, but it's S M K. What's next? They have forty subs. So. I would like to get them maybe to 50 if uh, anyone would like to check out their channel, but it's SMK What's Next. I've got to check them out too, but I was just going through my stickers and my cards that I got and writing down some of the smaller channels to try and help them out. But um, let's see here. Everyone's saying hi, so I'll just continue with my cards. 
But here's another one. Um, she's from Oklahoma. She actually lives in Pryor, or she works in Pryor. I'm not sure if she lives there. But um, her name is Sooner Girl Travels. Her car is really nice. I mean, her card is really nice. I'm looking at the steering wheel and said car. But um, Sooner Girl Travels. She has 353 subs. There's the back of her card. She's on Facebook, Instagram. Her Instagram is Sooner Girl Travels too. But yeah, she has 353 subs. So if some of y'all might not mind going to check her out. Let's see here. Is Jaylee sleepy? No, she's been in there. She's been downstairs watching a movie for the last two hours. I had to go in there and check on her a few times because she was about to pass out on me. But no, the movie was too good. She wasn't going to fall asleep. <laughs> um, thank you for coming in, Gray Mountain Farm. Suzanne Reese. Hello from Canada. That's awesome. Thank you for coming in. Hardneck Farms. Wendy, how are you doing today, Wendy? Hey, Great. Colleen. Yeah, Jaylee's like, uh, what do I say if someone says hi? I said, just say hi back. <laughs> She's a little nervous. Um, Hardneck Farms, how are you doing today? Tom and Rhonda, hey, it was so good to meet you all too. We really enjoyed y'all. Ashley, hi, sweetheart. Hey, Ashley. Cat fur, fur, kitten britches. I have to say that one a little slow. I'll probably mess up. How are you doing? Um, okay. Let me get to the next one here. It's Evans Family Homestead. I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but they have 459 subs. Evans Family Homestead. So if y'all don't mind going to check them out, if you would like, maybe get them a few more subscribers and let these people know that Jaws sent you. Let's see here. Um, like a bully homestead. How are you doing, Adam? Hey, dancing queen. <laughs> yeah, I'm the clogging queen. <laughs> or I tried anyway. I'm not sure I'm that good. I'm just surprised that I actually got out there and did it, y'all. I'm just, I'm so surprised. <laughs> um, let's see here. My honey said he's visiting with someone. Okay, babe, that's fine. Hey, Florida, Florida Chick Adventures. I just watched your video earlier. It was awesome. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Lorna. How are you doing? I'm sorry, y'all, for the air conditioner noise. It's pretty loud back there. My Aussie Garden and Kitchen. How are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. Um, okay. Here's another one that I we had the pleasure of meeting, and she was very sweet. It's Boots and Bounty Homestead. Boots and Bounty Homestead. Um, they have 503 subscribers. I'm sorry, 523 subscribers. And y'all go check them out if you can. Boots and Bounty Home Homestead. Um, okay, they can't hear the AC. Okay, it just seems loud to me because I'm right beside it. That's good. Il Canerum said you killed it, Shannon. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> um, Grandpa Grandpa said, love Boots and Bounty. Nice people. They really are. Everyone we met was super nice. We enjoyed meeting everyone. Um, okay. And this sweet lady right here, Morgan's Happy Place. Oh, I'm so glad to have met her too. She is so sweet. I just love Morgan's Happy Place. Um, she has an awesome garden y'all 
Y'all need to watch her and check out her garden. She has um, 251 subs. Maybe we could get her to 260, 265. That would be awesome. But yeah, go check out Morgan's Happy Place. Let's see here. Boots and Bounty Homestead were awesome. They were. They sure were. Um, Hardnack Farms just said, Wendy said, you did amazing, Shannon. I made some lifelong friends. So did we. We really did. And you're one of them, Wendy. You're such a sweet lady. Uh, let's see here. I don't know what Ashley said. Uh, Tiller State Park. Tyler. Oh, Tyler State Park. Yeah, I think they're going camping. Um, let's see here. Okay, y'all. Here's another one. This is the first time that I had heard of them at the meetup and meeting them. But um, it's Roost, Roost and Rescue. They have, let's see here, 196 subscribers. Roost and Rescue. Try to get them to 200 at least. They're close. They're knocking on the door. <laughs> Roost and Rescue. Uh, we love y'all too, Tom and Rhonda. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are no different than in your video. It's just awesome to have been there and been able to hug y'all and actually get to talk to y'all. We have got to get together at some point when we all have time. Okay, it's much quieter on our end now. Um, okay, here's a lady that we met uh, walking in, and um, it was actually raining, so... Roger was so kind to have gotten his uh, umbrella, and he he covered us, me, and this lady from the rain. So, but she's just starting out, and she has thirteen subscribers. Her name is We Are Garden Gals. She's a really sweet lady. I think she only has one video out at the moment. But um, we are garden gals. She is. She was there at the meetup, but she. I don't think she talked a whole lot because she said she was just taking it all in at the moment, trying to learn stuff. And you know, she was kind of on the quiet side, kind of like me. No, I'm not as quiet as I used to be. But uh, anyway, yes, we are garden gals. She has 13 subscribers, so. It would be awesome if some of y'all would go check her out and subscribe if you like her. Maybe get her numbers up a little bit. Let's see here. I know I'm missing comments. Um, Grumpy Grandpa, no, we love you, Tom and Rhonda. Um, let's see here. Uh, Roger, I was going to be nervous meeting Tom and Rhonda, but they were so easy to talk to. They really were. They were so easy to talk to. Um, Corey and Cynthia, she was a very nice lady. Did y'all meet We Are Garden Gals? She's a very sweet lady. Hi, the Rusty Pepper. Thank you for coming in. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Chrissy. I'm sorry I missed your comment. How are you doing, Chrissy? Thank you for coming in. Ilkneerum, I was overwhelmed, didn't do everything I wanted in my afterthoughts. I know, it was just, like Jason said, it was like a blur the whole weekend. I mean, it went by so fast, and I was trying to take it all in, and like I told Roger, my brain was kind of like buffering the whole weekend. I was, I was totally forgetting what I wanted to say to certain people, and just forgetting a lot of stuff. I'm actually surprised that I I videoed as much as I did. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I was forgetting everything. I mean, it was just so much going on and I was trying to make it around to everyone and say hi to everyone, which I didn't get to, but um, Evelyn said, 
Hello, Chrissy. I pray your storms only bring bring rain. Yeah, I heard uh, Oklahoma was getting some storms this evening or today. So I hope I hope that it's not bad, y'all. We're supposed to have it tomorrow. Okay, here's one more that I will. No, I might have a few more on here. Um, but Angie's Creative Studio. She has 63 subs. It's kind of a glare on there. Sorry, y'all. Angie's Creative Studio. 63 subs. She was really nice to talk to. Um, I've got her on video that's coming out tomorrow. Well, I got a few people that I was able to, you know, let them explain their channel and stuff. So, but um, hopefully y'all can maybe go check her out and see if you would like to subscribe. And there's two more on here that I don't have a card or anything for, but um, my friend Rebel at Heart, Kelly Dimrick, she has... 24 subs, and uh, she has been making candles. So she has a few videos out, but not too many yet. But yeah, she has 24 subs, so hopefully we can raise that number for her. And another sweet lady that we met was LG Homestead, Lori and Greg. They were so nice to talk to, and... Um, she has 239 subs. So maybe if y'all haven't checked her out, y'all can go check her out and see if you'd like to su subscribe to her too. Um, oh, and Stephen Carlson, it was so nice to meet you. Uh, yes, yeah, Stephen Carlson, if y'all, if you don't mind putting his link in there, he has 17 subscribers. So maybe we can get him up Closer to maybe 30 or something like that. Um, yes, he was a very nice guy to talk to. Um, hi, Sharon Delaney. How are you doing? I tried to go live. I, I didn't beat Ed's Crazy Homestead or Crazy Ed's Homestead. I think he changed his name. I think it was Ed's Crazy Homestead, and now it's Crazy Ed because people kept calling him Crazy Ed. But... Uh, he, he went live for like something like 20 something hours. That was just amazing. I mean, he had it just here, there and everywhere. And people was taking his camera and moving it around. <laughs> it was funny, but everyone got in on his video at least and was able to, you know, say hi and all that. It was pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Greg. Presley, yes, I remember. We may remember meeting you, Greg Presley. Uh, Greg Presley is thinking about starting a channel soon. So when he does, please let me know and um, I'll write you down your channel name. Uh, so y'all be on the lookout for Greg Presley to make a channel. I really enjoyed meeting you and Roger. You both are super awesome. You are very nice to talk to. Suzanne Reese, I sub to all of them. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in too. Um, Wendy says, Hardneck Farms, I am glad you're posting links. Some of the channels couldn't find when I get when I got home. I know some of the channels that have just started out recently or are smaller channels, they're hard to find sometimes. I even have a hard time unless They've commented on my video. Then I go back to my YouTube notification, and then I find them that way. Um, Grumpy Grandpa said, what kind of burger did you have at Brahms? It was a good burger. <laughs> it was a four cheese burger, but not four cheese burgers, just four cheese on a burger. <laughs> it was really good. I mean... It had like American cheddar, Swiss, and pepper jack, I think. I can't really remember. But, um, oh, it was so good. Of course, because it had every kind of cheese that I like. And if y'all have not seen that picture, Grumpy Grandpa, 
posted it on Facebook and I posted it also plus on my Instagram. I think I posted it there. Let's see here. Um, Patty Jones, how are you doing? Thanks for the great lives from the family reunion. Appreciate you all. Yes, I was, I mean, I didn't go live as much as some of them did, but I, I wanted to kind of help out with people that wasn't able to be there. And, you know, because everyone going live, it showed different views. And I mean, it felt like, I'm sure to the people that couldn't make it, it felt like they were kind of there, you know, and was able to enjoy it. Let's see here. Tom and Rhonda says, Shannon, you and Roger are so tall. I'm used to seeing you sitting down. I know. I know. I, I was taller than people realized that I was. I had three or four people tell me, oh, my gosh, you're so tall. I did not think you were that tall. Because usually my camera shows from my waist up just cooking, you know, or showing the bar. <laughs> um, let's see here. Hardneck Farm said, I am hung hungry, haven't eaten dinner yet, watching this weather. Yes, please keep an eye on that weather, y'all. Stay safe. Uh, yeah, me and this one haven't ate yet either. And Roger, if you're on here, we're going to go eat after this live. <laughs> I'm going to take my precious Pizza niece. Hut. She wants to go to Pizza Hut. So we're going to go get some supper, supper here in a little bit. Uh, Virginia said, I don't have Facebook or Instagram. Well, I got your number, so I will send you the picture. I just hadn't thought about it, but I will. Uh, let's see here. My mom, Georgette, said, you know that it had cheese, right, Grumpy Grandpa? Yes, he was right there. And when I saw it right away on the menu, I was like, uh, I got to have it. Got to have it. Um, Grumpy Grandpa said... Thanks, guys, for taking us out to dinner, Shannon and Roger. Oh, no problem. We really enjoyed having y'all. It was so much fun. Um, Miss Patricia, too crazy in Alabama, she, she had said yesterday on a comment that she had wished she had known that we went out to eat because she was in her room eating crackers, and I wish I would have um, saw her because we could have had you know, brought her along with us, but I didn't know where she was and I didn't see her. So I didn't think about it. But uh, also I wanted to say congratulations to everyone that reached their milestone this weekend, because I know there were, I know there was four or five people or so that uh, reached their milestone, like the Payne family. I think their milestone was 5,000 or a little over 5,000, so that's awesome. Um, and Crazy Ed's homestead, he reached over his 1,000, which is crazy. I mean, that's awesome. And Ridge Life, he, he, he's over 6,000 now, so that's awesome. And who else was it? Um, oh, it was Simply Jan Homestead. She, I think... She had already reached over her thousand, but she, I think, got her hours over the weekend. So she become monetized over the weekend. So I'm just so happy for everyone. I mean, I'm really so happy for everyone because I know those hours, those hours are really hard to get. Really, really hard to get. I'm, I'm like a little over halfway on my hours. But not quite. Um, I still got a ways to go, which is okay. I'll get there. Let's see here. Um, everyone's saying hi. And Hardneck Farm said congratulations to all who did their goal. Yes, to everyone. I may have missed some, which I apologize if I did. But I know I heard the Payne family, Ridge Life, uh, Simply Jan, Homestead, and... Crazy Ed's Homestead. Ed's Crazy Homestead, Crazy Ed's home Homestead. One of those. <laughs> Ashley said, nice sign. I know. Don't y'all just love my sign that our precious niece Ashley and her daddy made, which I know a lot of y'all have saw it. 
But in case you haven't, Roger um, hit it into the ground. I couldn't get it to go into the ground for me because the ground is so hard. But he didn't have no trouble. So he put it up for me. And now I can't wait till I get me a pergola so we can sit out here more and enjoy it. But uh, I also, just in case there's new people in here on my live, I want to say that I still have t-shirts. If anyone wants a t-shirt, I need to get rid of them. <laughs> but um, if y'all want a t-shirt, please, after the live, either email me or you can leave a comment uh, under this, under the live, and let me know. That way, I can get a hold of you, and I will ship y'all one out. Um, uh, Wendy Hardneck Farms, I shipped yours out yesterday, so hopefully you'll have it by the beginning of next week. Um, finding happiness in all you do. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, Miss Virginia, this is the same one. Um, I just have some left. Well, I have a lot left over actually. So, um, if anyone wants one, just let me know in the comments and I will send you one. And also in the comments, if y'all would like, uh, to it, which I don't know if everyone saw these, but <clears throat> I had these made and it says, Hey y'all join me on YouTube journey along with Shannon, AKA jaws. So I did give or Roger give out most of these at the uh, meetup, but if y'all didn't get one or if you would like to have one, just let me know um, after the live make a comment because sometimes I'm not able to go back to the live chat and see all the comments. So I might miss somebody, but, um, after the live, leave me a comment and I'll be glad to send you one. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, you're welcome, Wendy. The rusty pepper said I enjoyed talking with y'all while I was on Ed's panel. I know it surprised y'all, but that is the only way I could be there. Oh, no, that's awesome. It was so good to see you. Really good to see you. Um, Virginia said my shirt looks blue. Well, um, my niece did mess with my color on my screen. That might be why, but it was so dark on the screen, I wasn't able to see the chat, so she brightened it up for me. Uh, but these... These are gray. I guess it does kind of look blue to me too, now that I look at it. But, um, yeah, I couldn't see the chat, so she uh, she made it brighter for me. She's smart like that. She knows how to fix whatever I don't know how to fix. <laughs> Ryan said, hello, Shannon and Junior. <laughs> what? Ryan said, hello, Shannon and Junior. And Junior. <laughs> let's see here um the rest pepper said she wants one okay i'll have to get with you and uh get your address um jennifer said her shirt is a powder blue well yeah i mean it's it's gray but i mean or it's supposed to be gray i'm not sure i don't know my colors that well um it's got blue letters though but um uh, be right back. Checking flooding. Okay, Wendy, that's fine. Um, let's see. Kids are like that. I know. They know everything about any electronic. I only know it because of school. Oh, she only yeah, knows it. Because I'm in advanced technology. Oh, she's in advanced technology. So she knows a lot. I could learn a lot from her. <laughs> she's going to have to uh, teach me how to... Uh, make a new intro and all this stuff because I bet she could do it. She knows, I mean, because she, she's shown me already a lot about um, 
like videos and stuff like that, intros. She has taught me a lot. Um, let's see here, Tom and Rhonda. It's gray. We we have one. Yeah, it's gray. It's got, but it does look blue through the screen because I can I can see where you can you would well, think it's blue. It's probably the filter. Oh, she said it's probably the filter. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if y'all want a shirt or if you want a to it, just let me know. Uh, Ryan says, how many subs do you have? I don't know, Ryan. I'll have to let you know that. <laughs> I'll have to find out. I'm still not at a thousand though, but I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm going to surprise y'all when I hit a thousand because when I do, if, if my brother-in-law still agrees, Ryan, he's going to shave his, or he's going to cut his beard and shave it, wax it or something, if he still does it. And uh, we're going to give away one of Roger's barbecue pits. So that's exciting. I can't wait. Um, let's see here. Big Dreams Homestead. How, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Uh, Stephen Carlson said, Dalter is amazing. I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, I may have read it wrong. I'm sorry. Um, uh, y'all, I may have, I may have something exciting going on this weekend outside of <clears throat> Saturday. I'm going to meet Turtle Man. If y'all know who Turtle Man is. Um, he had a TV show, and he uh, would go hunting for turtles, big turtles, too. She had never heard of him, so I showed her, and she was amazed. <laughs> she, now she wants to go hunting for turtles. She's, she's my little tomboy. <laughs> Nana said, where are we going to eat? We're going to eat at Pizza Hut. Yeah, she wants pizza tonight. So I guess we'll go have pizza. Or go get it and come back home. Um, hi, Dreamweavers. Haven Homestead, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Stephen Carlson said it's because your daughter is smart and she's awesome and fantastic. <laughs> well, she's my niece, but I would claim her as a daughter too. <laughs> she's my sweet niece. Um, Il Kinerum said I got 50 subs from the meetup, 150 to 200. Yes, uh, I will tell you this. I gained over, I want to say 150 or 100, 150 to 170 subs is a roundabout of what I've gained, which is amazing. And I want to say thank you to everyone that has put my name out there that give, um, it was a, uh, Kinfolk Farm of Georgia that was going around giving interviews and also my friend Joy Blessed Life. She was doing interviews. So everyone that was doing interviews and everyone that, you know, put my name out there, I appreciate it so, so, so much. I couldn't thank you enough. Ryan said, go ahead and tell us how Turtle Man sounds. Everyone would know then. Yee! <laughs> That's Turtle Man. Yee! I don't know if I can do it just as well as he can, but that's Turtle Man. Are y'all going to go, Ryan? You should go and meet me up there and see him. He's going to be in Emory. Um, hi, Tara. How are you doing? And I didn't say hi to Scott. I saw him in here earlier, but I'm sorry. I had forgot. So, hello, Scott. Um... Dreamweavers Haven said, doing great. Glad I made the live. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm glad you made the live too. It's good to see you. Uh, Finding Happiness said, we have a photo with Turtle Man with his youngin about five years old. Long ago, my youngest catches huge snappers. He started with watching Turtle Man. That's awesome. Yes, we used to watch him all the time, but... I had no idea that he would ever be this close to us. I'm not sure why he's coming around here, but hey, 
it's awesome. So I'm going to go. But uh, I may have something else going on this weekend that hopefully I will get on video and I will be able to show y'all next week if everything works out right. Um, Corey and Cynthia, Ken Folk Farm of Georgia is a good man. He He's a very nice man. Yes, he is a very good person. Yeah, <laughs> finding happiness. Yee, Do it, Jaylee. Yee, <laughs> um, Let's see here. Virginia said, Rusty Pepper, my five-year-old great-grandson has actually taught me some technology. Little kids are really, really smart. I mean, they can, um, they can go on Amazon and order <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Because I've heard that on the news where there was a little kid that, I mean, ordered thousands of dollars worth. Or V-Bucks. Or V-Bucks. For Fortnite. Oh, uh, for Fortnite. That's what I've it is. I've heard that, too. Yes. Uh, or Roblox. Tom and Rhonda, we met you when you had 20 subs. I know. And Tom and Rhonda was, like, one of the first people to really help me. I mean, they got me so many subs. They are Awesome, awesome, awesome people. They're the best. Um, that's where Miss Virginia saw me for the first time was on Tom and Rhonda. And we've been good friends ever since. Uh, Tara said, Turtle Man needed some new territory. I guess so. Um, let's see here. Eel Kinnearum Shannon is... Hanging up her clogs and grabbing tap shoes. I'm hanging up both of them. No, I'm going to keep them around just in case I want to do a little practicing. I might get this girl to do it with me. No, well, she does dance or she used to dance, but uh, she's more of a sports girl. Athletic. She's athletic. Uh, this girl is about to start... Um, softball and I cannot wait to watch her she plays every year and she's got some legs she can run she is good um let's see here fighting happiness says he is super nice in person he made my boy feel so at home I bet I bet he seems like a super nice guy uh, the Rusty Pepper, they can do anything on the computer. <laughs> yes, they can. Some things they shouldn't do. Um, Jennifer said, we all started there with you, Shannon. Yep. Tom and Rhonda, uh, I had one, their picture. I had one, I guess I picked the right number, I think. They were, you had to guess a number. And... I chose it right, and they sent me their picture, and I took a picture with their picture in front of our golden sweet potato sign downtown here, because that's what we're known for, and then I sent it back to them, and they went live with me, and we've been good friends ever since, and it was great. I sure appreciate Tom and Rhonda. Uh, what position are you in softball? Uh, I play for about every everything. She everything. plays everything. She's all over the place. They have her. Well, she doesn't do too much um, uh, pitching. pitching. I, I pitch, yeah. but not that much. She doesn't pitch too much, but she's a hind catcher. She's been, I think, every base. And she's been in the field, too. So she moves around. But she has how many trophies? For for softball. softball. Well, I have one trophy and three rings. One trophy and three rings with softball. Which rings take about two years for a league. But I, um, scouts looked at me and I got to, uh, I was supposed to play select, but I declined it because it, cause you have to travel everywhere. Yeah, she didn't want to travel, you I know, travel. long distance. But, um, she gets picked up by teams super fast. I mean, everyone wants Jaylee on their team. 
And then for running, I have 15 medals just for four track meets. Did y'all hear that? Four track meets. She has 15 medals. She is very athletic. Very. And she, tell them what you want to play this next year. Y'all listen um, to this. <laughs> uh, the Mineola coaches asked me to play football, and I'm considering it. So. She wants to be in football. She is, she's a tomboy, and that's okay. She really loves athletics, and that's good, though. I'm glad, I'm happy for her. Um, let's see here. Grumpy Grandpa, how many did you have before the first meetup? I can't remember, but, oh, I lost it. I'm sorry, y'all. Hang on one second. Um, how many did you have before first meetup? I can't remember, but we hardly had any, and all the Crockers and Close Channel friends have helped us so much. Before the first meetup, um, I can't remember exactly. I want to say two or 300 subscribers, but yes, they helped me a lot. I mean, both times, you know, putting on the meetup, you know, uh, organizing all this and just everything they've done. They have helped a lot. Um, Tom and Rhonda, Tom was a hind catcher in the 70s. That's cool. That's awesome. I never played uh, softball. All I ever did was track and I was a cheerleader. That's, That's the only thing I will never be a cheerleader. See, she doesn't want to be a cheerleader at all. But I made it my sixth grade year for cheerleading. And I was only a cheerleader for one year, but I had a lot of fun. Uh, Tara said, way to go. Congratulations. Thank you. Great job. You go, girl. Congrats, Jaylee. Yeah, she's really good in sports. She can run. Oh my goodness. Uh she was doing a what is it? Pole vault. Pole vault. I got first. pole vault and she got first. I've never I don't have a third place medal. I don't any out of any of my medals, there's not a third place. I only have first and second. First and second place, y'all. <laughs> Ryan said it's okay. Uh, Ashley said, I'm not athletic. Ryan said it's okay, Ashley. Me either, unless it's coming. Comes to running to the table. Oh, I thought it said that you run into the table. That's what I do. I run into stuff. Um, don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do that. That's right. That is right. Uh, Finding Happiness said, you go, girl. Yes, you are a girl, but you can do everything and anything you want. Congrats. Yes, she can. She really can. I'm proud of her. Um, hey, Robert Castleberry. How are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Um, yes, y'all. Um, if you don't mind posting Robert Castleberry's uh, link. And if anyone needs shirts made, I believe he makes shirts. And I noticed, I think he made a North and South Homestead. They're shirts, if I'm correct. Is that right, uh, Robert Castleberry? I want to make sure that's right before I say what I was going to say. Um, let's see here. Robertson Belly Acres is in the house. <laughs> y'all are so awesome. I'm glad we got to see y'all again. Thank you for coming in. Um, Virginia said, that's impressive. Thank yeah. you. She amazes me. Uh, Cat Fur for Kitten Britches said, if you are not first, you are last. Mm -hmm. um, Tom and Rhonda said, we have a channel because of the Crockers. We wouldn't even be doing this if it wasn't for them. Now we've met so many great people and we love it. Yes, I'm glad they talked y'all into it, Tom and Rhonda. That's awesome. Um, well... What got me started was uh, quarantine. <laughs> we were so bored and I didn't know what to do with myself. So that's when I started a channel and Roger had been watching YouTube for quite a while. There for a while, I didn't even watch YouTube, but he got me started. And I started watching the Crockers when they were at the ranch. And then come along, then I started watching Jared 
And then I started watching their mom and them. And it just went on and on and on. And I just decided, well, I might as well find me something to do because uh, most of the time, you know, I'm like, what am I going to do? I need a hobby. So this turned out to be a hobby. And I also met so many nice people now that I wouldn't even want to stop doing it because I wouldn't want to lose touch with anyone because I love it. Even though I get a little shy on doing my videos sometimes, you know, I don't, I would never stop. Um, let's see here. Robert Castleberry said, I did do North and South, Ed's Crazy Homestead and Healthy Homestead Chick. Okay, well, you use the same um, company as the lady that did my shirts. Um, I noticed that on this shirt, it was the same company that the lady that does my shirt uses. So I just thought that was pretty cool. No big deal. I just thought it was pretty cool. So y'all go, if you need a t-shirt or t-shirts made, check out Robert Castleberry because he made these and they look really, really good. I may be getting in touch with him in the future when I decide to do more. That'll be a while, but when I do, I, I'm going to get in touch with you, Robert. So uh, I, I'm going to consider doing soccer in high school because that's the only sport I haven't done in school. Oh, she wants to play soccer in high school. That'll be good. That'll be good. I can't wait to see what goes on in football. That I just worry about her being tackled and hurt because she is tiny, but she's pretty tough too, though. She is tough. Um, Corey and Cynthia Davis said, what's up, Rachel and Rusty? We need to hear your laugh, Rachel. She has the best laugh. She really does. SMK, what's next? I just was showing your um card or sticker earlier. Your sticker. Yes. Y'all say hi to SMK. What's next? Thank you for coming in. Um, I have a little bit of, de of a delay. Um, Virginia says, Shannon, that's when I got hooked on YouTube. The only TV I watch is baseball. <laughs> yeah, um, pretty much all I watch is YouTube now because I try to catch up with or I try to keep up with everyone I'm subscribed to. I do. I get behind because it's it's almost impossible unless I watch them as soon as I get the notification. But I'm not always able to, you know, I'm, I kind of I'm busy. So but I do try to I do try to skip around and watch people as I can. Um, let's see here. I'm behind y'all. Robert Castleberry, during quarantine, I did a blog, blog on my Facebook. Did it as a travel blog, visiting different rooms of my house. That's how I entertain myself and others. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Um, Cat Fur for Kitten Britches said, me too. Didn't understand what YouTube was about until the lockdown. Been in it for over 20 years. Just never had the time. Right? Well, I had plenty of time. I just never really thought about doing it until quarantine. And then, you know, around that time, I was watching it a bunch with my husband. And so I thought, hey, I might as well try it. I mean, what's it going to hurt? Let's see here. Um, Scott Shaver said, Jaylee, I'm very proud of you. Just remember, put God first in your life and you'll never be last. Yes, sir. That's right. Um. Rusty Pepper said, Robert Castleberry Outdoors, would you like to make one for me? I have a design idea. Awesome. If you don't mind putting Robert Castleberry's uh, link again for me, please, I would sure appreciate it. Um, let's see here. SMK said, thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you for joining me, coming in. Um, let's see here. Everybody saying hi. Hi. Um, yeah, two old people on the couch said lots of people started then. They did. Everyone was so bored, didn't know what to do with themselves. The only other thing I did was eat all the time. <laughs> and I still do that. <laughs> so, but, um, okay, y'all. Uh, again, before I get off of here, if anyone would like to have a round to it, because 
I'm sure some of the people in here, I wasn't able to get y'all one at the meetup or you wasn't at the meetup or something. So if y'all would like a round to it, it's just a little like token and it has a saying on the back. But um, if you would like one when the uh, live is over, leave me a comment and how I can get a hold of you or you can get in my about tab and I have my email. You can email me if you'd like one and I'll be glad to send you one. And also my t-shirts. I still have plenty to give out. So if you would like a t-shirt, send me your size and your address. So yeah, we're fixing to jump off here. I got a, a starving Marvin over here. I haven't fed her today. No, I did feed her earlier. I'm not starving her. But uh, I'm going to go take her to Pizza Hut. And we're going to get us some pizza and come back here and maybe watch a movie. She brought a movie for us to watch. That's normally what we do when she stays. Is we just enjoy a movie and either go eat or fix us something to eat and just have fun. So, um. Bye, Colleen. I'm fixing to get off here, too. Um, Joyce Johnson said, I never got to quarantine. Was right in the middle of the COVID, as were most healthcare workers. Oh, my goodness. I know you were working, working, working. Thank you for all that you've done. Um, Tom and Rhonda said, tomorrow is T-shirt Tuesday on Friday with two old people on a couch. That's right. Don't forget it. Um. Jennifer said, have a great dinner, and thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Yes, thank you all that's come in here. Y'all, I have 40 likes and 32 people in here. I got more likes than people in here. That's always great. I appreciate you all. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go and enjoy some pizza. Um, Grumpy Grandpa said, you bouncing, Shannon. <laughs> I'm bouncing. <laughs> uh, Evelyn said, bye, honey. I'll message you. Okay. Yeah, message me anytime. Um, love our Jaws shirt. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm going to do my uh, merch video next week. So y'all will see everything I got from the meetup. But I'm going to get off here. We're close to an hour. But I want to say thank you again for everyone coming in. And we had fun. Love and you, Nana. Jaylee says, love you, Nana. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good night. Eat lots of pizza. We will. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Love you all.